And now, stand by for adventure. Three, two, one. In the exciting story of... The Prehistoric Present. The morning sun beamed down on the entrance of the cave home of... Scratch. The world's only living caveman. Scratch, as you know, fell asleep several thousand years ago. And probably would have been sleeping yet. But the first atomic test explosion... blew him right out of the past and into the present. And now, with his friends, Colonel Bleak and Little Squeak, the caveman's life is filled with exciting adventures, wonderful adventures, like the time Scratch <laughs> smelled smoke and saw a fiery glow inside his cave. He dashed inside to find Squeak with a giant birthday cake, all aglow with candles, just for Scratch. The happy caveman jumped for joy and made a very special wish when he blew out all the candles. And then Scratch felt sad and big tears dripped from his eyes. For he felt sure that his birthday wish could never, ever possibly come true. For Scratch had wished to return once again to his prehistoric past, to play again with Dimples, his lovable pet dinosaur. Yes, Scratch missed Dimples very much. And now he would never see her again. But to Colonel Bleak, nothing seems impossible. And so the spaceman's birthday gift to Scratch was a golden key. The key to Scratch's wish come true, for this was the key that operated Colonel Bleep's Futomic Time Transformer. That fantastic invention which made it possible to transport anything or anybody anywhere in time or space. Quickly, the caveman hopped aboard and Bleep adjusted the time controls to allow Scratch to visit for one hour with Dimples back thousands of years in the past. Squeak turned the golden key as Scratch waved farewell. Then the whole contraption suddenly vanished as it raced backwards carrying the caveman through time. Then suddenly, there he was, back home again with Mama Scratch, Papa Scratch, and Dimples, dear old Dimples, Scratch's pet dinosaur. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the present, Bleep and Squeak watched the dials and signals of the Futomic Time Transformer as the minutes ticked by. The hand of the clock was rapidly approaching the time for Scratch's scheduled return. There's the signal. Now Bleep throws the reverse control switch. But Scratch is having such a wonderful time, he forgets to climb aboard, and the machine returns empty. Quickly, the colonel sends it racing back, and again it returns, but this time with Dimples. Now Bleep is worried, for only enough futomic power remains in the machine for one more try. Scratch must come back this time, or he will be left forever in the past. Once again, Bleep throws the switch. And just in time, Scratch jumps aboard the Futomic Transport, and now he's really on his way back. But wait, the power's beginning to fade, and the years are clicking off slower and slower, until finally, the machine stops dead, somewhere in the past century. Poor Scratch is stuck back in the 1800s. Now he'll never get back. But wait, what's that strange noise? And that, it's getting louder and louder, closer and closer. But what can it be? Why, it's Scratch, riding back from the 19th century in an early automobile, towing the rundown time transformer behind him. And so, Scratch had a wonderful birthday. And now he's back with his friends again. 
You can just bet that no one else in the whole wide world ever got a pet dinosaur for a present. Yes, it's fun to dream about the past, but for real fun, there's no time like the present.